welcome to the module two discussion board. Module two discussion board focuses us on interconnectedness and specifically on recognizing systems thinking nature of various systems. Sometimes thinking about things as systems is a real challenge. And I'll admit it can take patience to get used to that approach. So here's a good place to start. Look at the image on this slide. Imagine drawing a web showing all of the components that connect to the potatoes pictured there. How'd they come to be in that basket? They didn't grow by themselves. People were involved, many people. They won't be the same after they're cooked and eaten. Even the soil they grew in after they grew was different. So I hope in this module, you'll start to get the feel for interconnectedness, the way things really are connected to each other in our world. Okay, so my goal for this quick video is to share a few tips with you about this week's discussion board assignment. And we're gonna begin by briefly looking at each of the components of the discussion board, and then we'll take a look at the rubric. So let's get started here. Let's take a look at the prompts. Um, you're gonna find that these prompts really focus in on systems and on the interconnectedness of them as they relate to sustainability issues. So in the prompts there, you can see that you're asked to explain what interconnectedness means to you. And then it gives us a tip here. Think about how do you connect within your culture, your local community, your pure career field, or other contexts. Secondly, now these are individual prompts, so this is the second of the two prompts. What is one popular culture example that relates to interconnectedness and sustainability? Here you might want to consider a song, a TV show, a movie, a video game, or maybe even a fashion design that portrays connections with the earth, the environment, or some other sustainability topic. And then the third prompt here asks you, how well does your chosen example show the relationships between cultural systems, the community, and sustainability? And you need to kind of explain that a little bit. Okay, so be sure to provide examples of how you connect within your culture that demonstrate your understanding of interconnectedness. So you might want to ask yourself, did your explanation cover how culture, community, and sustainability relate to one another? Then what popular culture item or popular culture example did you share? And how did you explain it in terms of interconnectedness and sustainability? But finally, how does your explanation guide the reader in seeing the relationships between sustainability and the cultural systems? So be sure here, there are three prompts, those you know, numbered one, two, three here on the slide. Make sure that you're addressing each one of those three prompts. You're gonna see why we take a look at the rubric in just a minute. But first of all, let's talk about the response posts. Remember that you are making two response posts. So here are the two prompts that you need to respond to with each one of your two posts. The first one, what connections do you have in common with the, with the post that you're responding to? Do you agree with them? Do you see the point? Um, maybe there's something you can add. And then which connections that you have with that post would you like to develop further? Finally, think about anything that you might want to ask about that that would help to further the conversation. Because remember, the discussion board really is a great opportunity for all of us to practice and apply what we're learning in each one of the modules. And that's gonna to continue to build from week one, which we already saw into module two, into module three, where you're actually going to be starting on your course project all the way through to the end of the course. All right, so let's take a second and take a look at the grading rubric, because I want you to be informed about how I'm going to assess your discussion board posts. So this rubric should be starting to become familiar to you. It's the same rubric we used for module one, and we'll continue to use it for each of the modules so I can provide feedback on this standardized rubric on your discussion board posts. Let's take a look at some other things I'll be looking for on this particular one. So that top row is comprehension. Here, think about, uh, did you provide detailed examples of how you connect that demonstrate your understanding of interconnectedness? And then the timeliness row, that's pretty simple. Did you make your initial post before the Thursday deadline? 
And I really want to encourage you here to make that post early. Make the post you know, as, you, as early as you can, Monday or Tuesday, because that way the conversations that we'll be able to have will be more interesting and richer. There will be more people involved in them. So think about that one. Okay, the third row on this rubric, engagement. This one really focuses in on the response posts that you're making. Were your response posts really thoughtful? Did they extend the conversation in some way? Did they add new information? Did they bring in new resources? Maybe you suggested a solution. Maybe you suggested some additional places where you would like to develop those ideas further. And then the last row, writing. Are your posts clear? Are they concise? Are they easy to understand? Did you take time to draft them so they would encourage engagement? Did you take time to spell check them? All those kinds of things. All right. Thank you so much for joining me for the short video on the module two discussion board. As always, I'm here to support you. Please reach out if you have any questions. Be happy to help. Thanks very much.